So here I am at another excavation. So this is a lot of basalt that's been, no, this is clay. Looks like basalt from the outside, uh, but it's actually clay nodules, but we do have basalt that's in the actual uh, mix. But the curious thing about this material, uh, I don't see it anywhere in the actual formation so this might be deeper down so we do have a conglomerate so this is a mixture of uh, pebbles looks like sand and the fine matrix is probably calcium carbonate or I don't know it could it's not iron oxide because it's not red uh, so it's like a, a white colored uh, matrix and here we have another so this is quite well cemented unlike the sandstone that we saw up above so this is more silty so there's siltstone it can still be part of the red bluff sandstone but as you can see there's lots of uh, fractures that's been infiltrated by uh, iron oxide which is red so that's a very interesting feature. And here we have another piece of material. So we have a conglomerate up the top. Then we have, looks like the silty material, siltstone. And down below we have the sandstone. So we can see the actual cutoff point. So this looks like it's conformity. And all just, so we have a, distinct cutoff point between the sandstone and the siltstone but between the siltstone and conglomerate it looks like it it grades into each other so that I'll probably take home but we have a lot of other parts of the formation here so here's another massive one and when it breaks it looks pretty much like the actual outside material so and it goes up there so that, I think that's from the actual excavation they've just dumped it here so that's very interesting so if we go along the actual formation so here we have massive there's no cleavage that we can see uh, here we have some matrix so this is the looks like we've got con conglomerate down here and it just grades into a, a sandstone this one so it's a sandy material silty material so, to get a geological context, uh, you need to look into it. And here's a large pebble. So we, once again, we have this silty material down here. And this has a distinct cutoff point into the conglomerate. So that one is very interesting. But this doesn't contain any fossils. So that's a one sad point about this rock no fossils and it's quite light so a rock like that you think it would be a bit heavy but to me it, it, it's like scoria in its weight compared to its dimensions this one's a little bit heavier that's a sandstone and if I pick up basalt uh, yeah this one's a lot heavier than that one. So same dimensions. This one probably weighs at least four times as much. So anyway, that's very interesting. Obviously we can't really get the geological context of this, but just little features you can check how formations actually grade. So this one's going home.